Now that we've deployed the chatbot onto our website, we want to start making some advanced modifications to it. Two things I want to do in this video are one, add those little proactive bubbles on the top of the widget so people can click it more. And the second one is adding some custom CSS. So what we're going to do is click here where it says see documentation. And this is going to walk us through the steps that we need to do to customize the widget. So if I hit see documentation, this opens up our documentation. And you can see that there's a bunch of different things we can do under web chat. We've got custom forms and extensions, custom variables, embedding and custom styling, modify configurations and much more. So this is what we're going to focus on in this video, adding these cool little proactive chat bubbles to be able to get more people to click on your widget. You'll notice that you can also embed the web chat in your page. So if you wanted an embedded experience that kind of sits natively within your page, you can look through these instructions and do that as well. But let's start off with the proactive text message bubbles. So you'll see that in all of this, it provides you something that you need to add to your web chat widget. So it's all of these pieces of code that you can add in and really kind of fully customize your widget. But I'll walk you through how to do that. Not from a code angle, we're going to use ChatGPT to do this just to save some time. If you're a developer, you can go ahead and do this yourself. If you're not, just use GPT. It'll save you tons of headache. So you can see here that there's, there's actually a couple different things you can do. The first one is add in proactive messages. And the second one is you can actually stack them. So you can have mobile proactive messages. Now, there are different things that you can do because we've enabled the code that allows you to add this in. So here's an example where in the code, I'm adding an if statement that says, if the page is this product slash fire sneakers, then we're going to have these messages pop up. So you can imagine you could probably have conditional messages to say, if you're on this page, show this. If you're on this page, maybe tweak the message. We're going to keep it simple, and we're just going to do this hello world. And I'm going to show you how to add this in. So we're actually going to use GPT for this. So I'm going to say, hey, here's my widget. Add this in, combine them together, and we'll go over the output. But it'll give you a sense of how this actually works. So we're going to go and copy our widget. We're going to say, here is the code for our chat widget. And then we're going to say, please add this into it. Now let's go and get the example that's in the page here. So this full example down here that has the dot then. This is critical. This is going to actually allow this part to trigger. So let's just copy this. Here is an example. We're going to say, but remove this, like, you know, must be on this page thing. But remove the page if condition. Great. So it looks like it's going to be added in without the page specific condition. And great. It's explaining, it's explaining what's happening as well. So um, up here, we see our regular widget. You can see it added the dot then. At first, it kind of clears any previous messages that are above. And then it pushes these messages. Are you interested in some fire sneakers? Come get the chat to learn more. So let's copy this over and head over to our website. And let's add this into the custom code here. So I'll just remove my widget and just paste in the new one. And hit save. And let's see if this worked. OK, so that is deployed. Let's open up this page. Awesome. And you can see down here, I've got these two messages. Are you interested in some fire sneakers? Click the chat to learn more. If I open the chat, it disappears. If I close the chat, it's there. And then I can hit X to clear them out. So pretty easy. I've now got these in here. And now, of course, I can go back to my code and actually start modifying out these messages. So instead of fire sneakers, if you want to learn in some maybe some fire software, click on the chat to learn more. So that's a really easy way to do it. My recommendation is that if you're not a developer, just use ChatGPT to add in things like if conditions or additional ones if you want. If you are a developer or you are familiar with code, uh, you can go ahead and just do this yourself, as well as add in any conditional logic. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually stack custom CSS on top of this. 